Hey, this is Shubham Dubey and you are watching Code Guruji. Well, in this video, we are going to learn about the matrices in SageMap. Well, we know that there are, there are too much keywords, functions and arguments in, in matrix. Well, we are going to learn few of them. Well, if you like that video, then uh, at the end, you can hit like, subscribe and you can share. Thank you. Well, in this video, we will learn about matrix and matrix operation with SageMath. Storing them in variable and operation with matrices. And one more that accessing elements of a matrix. Well, if you well know, if you know about the list and the other data types in SageMath or in Python, then that will help you. And if you don't know, then go and watch that video. Okay. Well, now, Firstly, uh, to make a matrix in SageMath, we have a function that is matrix and inside that you can pass the arguments. Okay. Well, uh, in the matrix letter, you can uh, write down capital M as well as, okay. But uh, I will prefer to write M, the small M, because uh, that is look good. Well, now. Now, how we can make a matrix? Well, for making a matrix, we have to use the matrix function. And inside that, you have to pass the arguments. That is, list of a list, right? Now, you have to uh, write this one at first. And after that, you have to make one more. Okay. Now, inside that, uh, we are writing our matrix by row wise well in this the recent third bracket we will write our elements by rows okay now suppose that our element is three two one so you have to separate by comma and the next row you have to separate by one more comma okay now take uh, another third bracket and after that you can pass that three element okay now i'm making a three by three matrix so i have to pass three rows and three uh three columns and the columns is automatically it will get okay now eight comma nine comma seven okay now after that you just have to click shift into and uh, your matrix is done here okay now this is the your three by three matrix and uh you can check that that this uh in the manner I just put my elements uh, in that way that come out okay now we have a one more way to find matrix well the other way to form a matrix well you 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 have to use the same keyword that is matrix and after that uh, you have to write down your row and column so all the matrices uh, in this sage math you have to make the in order to row by column okay so you have to just put row and then column and then uh, you have to write the elements of the matrix. Okay, let me tell you an example. Okay, now write down matrix. Okay, now I have to pass that I want to make a two by three matrix. Okay, now you have to, there will be six elements. Well, uh, I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you have to separate all the elements by putting the commas and now you have to put swift and enter okay now you can see there's a two by three matrix okay now uh, in this way you can also form your matrix okay now uh this is the oh, well this is the good way I suppose that uh, by mistake you just put uh two, instead of three by two you put two by three so uh, in this one, in this matrix, if you want to make uh, a matrix that is a little different, so you have to manipulate these all things. Okay, but uh, in this one, if there is a something not a square matrix, so if you have, uh, if you don't have a square matrix and you you just want to change this one, so make it three, make it two. Now you can directly switch that. You can directly manipulate your matrix. Okay. But what happened if I gave a different order and we don't have the element? 
okay it will definitely give an error yes value error so uh, you can see expected length is 9 but I have 6 only so if I make it uh, 9 here suppose that if I make it 9 okay 9 elements if I give okay let it 78 then 8 then 9 okay now we have our matrix 3 by 3 okay now in this way you can form your matrices right now uh, there are some data types uh, in matrix that is ZZ st J Z Z stand for integers Q Q stand for rational numbers R R stand for real numbers and C C stand for the complex number okay now I just put it in the comment box and this is the hashtag is for comment and if you want to write the more and more sentences in the comments so you can use that three double inverted commas and just close by three double inverted commas okay now let's check how we can use this data types now you have to write matrix and uh, in the matrix function you have uh, firstly I'm writing ZZ okay now you have to write the, your data type at first and then separate by comma now you have to write your uh, order of the matrix okay I'm taking uh, two by three matrix okay now separate by comma and now you have to put all the elements what you, whatever you want okay now I'm taking my elements fine so these are the integers right so you have six elements of integer type so you can directly get that okay now I just already mentioned that is integer type now what happened if I put a uh, point the rational number 0.6 okay it's have an error attempt to co error non integer real number to integer yes exactly so if you put if you directly mention that the data types of that then you can't put the different okay now what next the next one the next one is the rational numbers okay now you have to write the matrix okay matrix function and then you have to write QQ and that must be uh, in the capital letter okay now you have to put uh, the order of the matrix okay I'm putting 3 3 okay now separated by a comma and now you can uh, uh, write your elements okay 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 okay now I have put okay but these are the in, these are the data types of rational number but still we can write the integers but Suppose that if I make a point six and uh, I'm writing this is a mm, yes in the bracket I will write a four by seven. Okay, now what will happen? Okay, now I have that. If I put three by six, uh, then it is uh, showing in the uh, form of the fractions okay now 4 by 7 you can put so these are the rational number but what happened if I put here then it will give differently error but in the rational number you can put the integers as well as the rational numbers but what happened if I put a real number real number means that uh, pi the pi is already mentioned well uh, if I put a pi so yes it gave an error right so what is that error the last unable to convert pi to rational okay yes exactly because it's a real number right so it should be something like that okay for the real number you have to use the data 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 type rr now let's see how it work in the same manner you just have to write rr at the first and then write the order of the matrix and then separated by a comma now put the element of all the elements of matrix okay fine so what we have right here so 
this is giving in the form of the real numbers right well suppose that i instead of this one i just put pi okay yes i have i have now okay what else if i put uh, 5 by 6 now still it's giving in the fraction in the decimal point but uh, at the time of the rational numbers we are we was getting in the in the form of fractions but in the uh, time of the using the real numbers we are having this the decimal points okay now in the same manner we have the next data type that is the complex number okay now you have to use that cc uh, cc keyword uh, to uh, to define that this is uh, all the matrix uh, matrices having the complex number okay now you have to write your data uh, your order of the matrix and after that just separate by comma and then uh, you have to write all the elements of the matrix right now in this one you have to write uh, the elements okay one two uh, well we know that uh, in the sage math you can use that i word for the uh, complex number and uh, in python well this is based on the python so we can use the j word right for ident for making it complex number okay now i'm taking that 4 plus uh, 7j okay i'm taking j because i'm habituated with that okay now then 4 comma 5 comma 6 okay now this one so 6 you have fine now you have you have your matrix uh, uh yes this is one uh this is two then this one okay it's uh, in the different form uh-huh uh, wait for a moment let me check let me um, wait for a moment okay one well, it's taking a little space here. I don't know why, but uh, definitely it's a, this is the first row. Two by three. Okay, let's make it. Uh, oh, it's taking too much space. Okay, make it uh, three by two order. Okay, now I think it's it will give. Okay, it's taking too much space. That's why it's split in the next next row. But uh, the main thing you have to see that uh, this one three plus one j that is uh, written over there three plus that is they they are using i word. Okay, so these are the data types in in this one. Okay, now you might have asked that uh, what used at the top. Well, where we, we we was not mentioning any data type. So, well, Sage Math gets their best. Okay. So, after after giving the uh, after giving the elements, the Sage Math will decide that which data type it is. Okay. Automatically. Well, we can also uh, form our matrix in that form too. Well, uh, using uh, using this one, like mentioning your order, and then you can uh, write down the range of the elements. Well, it will automatically contain. Suppose that if I uh, if I make it uh, two two, uh, if the order will be two by two matrix, then uh, it will be something like this. Okay, it's a facing error, so I think I have to put four okay yes so in this way you can also form your matrix right now how we have we can store our matrix in a variable and normally uh, we was used to uh, used to in storing variables uh, storing uh, the data into a variable well in the same manner we can also store our matrix in a variable right so you can use a capital letter to store your matrix okay now in this one i'm using a three by three matrix range 
nine. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, I have to put here. I have to give a there. Then you can you can see. Now, so this is the matrix A, and you can manipulate that. Well, you can use some different different ones too. Uh, something like uh, suppose that if I want to. Uh, I want to make my matrix so you can store your matrix I'm using that one okay now again I have to write my matrix okay then so it will give this one because the uh, because sage math uh, just show you the last value right so if you want to show then you have to write print then you can see two matrices here fine well so in this way you can store your matrix into a variable now for the real feel, if you want to feel that real matrix like you used to do uh, while uh, solving problems in your notebook. So if you want to feel like that, then you, there is a function called so function. So you can pass your matrix here and uh, you can feel the real one. Yeah. So that is the real feel of matrix. Okay. This is just for fun. Okay. Now this one. Arithmetical operation, well, uh, uh, arithmetical operation are very easy on the matrix, right? So, if you want to, so well, well we have uh, that A matrix already there. So, okay, let's uh, define one more matrix that is B, right? And you can give a space or you cannot because space doesn't matter here. Okay. Now this one, okay, I'm writing matrix. Mm -mm. Matrix three comma three. Okay, now I have to put nine values. So how many values? Three, three, six, and two more. Okay, then I have to give you B so it will show. Okay, so we have these two matrix. This is A and this is B, right? Okay, now if you want to add these two matrix, so just very easy, just write down A plus B and it will give you the result. Simple. Okay, so this is that much easy. Well, in the in the case of multiplication, if you want to multiply four, so just give an asterisk and uh, write down A, and it will return you this one. If you want to multiply A into B, A into B. Okay, wait for a moment. So it will definitely give you this result, and you can check that. Okay, by using uh, by so by solving manually. Okay, now. But uh, A and B, uh, this A multiplied B, this is not commutative uh, law. Okay, uh, it's not following commutative law because uh, if you uh, if you want to do something B into A, so this will give you definitely a different result. You can see that. Okay, so this is not a commutative, right? Okay, and uh, now. Well, we also have some built-in function, built-in matrices in SageMath. Now we are doing, we are going to do a few of them. That is important. Okay, so uh, let me write first a uh, few matrices, right? Okay, spatial matrices. Let me write first diagonal. 
matrix diagonal matrix okay and then uh, one more random matrix okay so it's showing something okay okay I will I will I will recorrect that a little later okay first I want what happening here okay now let me make some boxes I need one because uh, it will give a uh, error, error again if I don't do okay now we have lots of space here now the random matrix random underscore matrix okay now the next one is identity matrix identity underscore matrix fine okay next one that is zero matrix okay why well, i'm right zebra zero underscore matrix okay now the next one is ones matrix i'm showing few of them and you i will give you that uh, fully list of that and you can do it and if you face any problem then you can uh, uh, text me or you can contact me for better understanding well start from this one diagonal matrix in the diagonal matrix you have to pass a list of that number that uh, should uh, that should be the diagonal matrix okay you don't have to mention that uh, all the orders and all so suppose that if I uh, if I want to make uh, this element as a diagonal so this will be a three by three matrix okay now this elements are in the diagonal well uh, it form a matrix now this is the random matrix well the random matrix means that uh, uh, it can show anything right now suppose that in this one okay I want to have this first and then now I'm just mentioning that ZZ for that uh, Z for integers okay now three two this is my order fine and uh, now uh, you you can choose your the range okay so that, that will be x equals to 10 I'm taking fine so now oh, it's giving an error I don't know why okay I think I have to mention uh, the y12 Uh, equals to 10 again it's happening I think uh, it should be X small X I don't know why it's mm, I think it's uh, facing some problem so let's remove that and then try random did I okay let's try okay now i have that that random matrix uh it will show the different uh you can now now see so there was two minus one in the first row okay so let's try now you can see that uh this is giving the random values okay so this is random matrix and you can uh you can see the whole things well i was trying to make the range but it is not happening i don't know why okay now the, in this one identity matrix identity matrix uh, you just have to put the order okay now some suppose that i'm taking three okay now so this is three by three identity matrix okay what is zero matrix again you have to pass the just order suppose that i'm passing two so it will give something like this okay once matrix is suppose that i'm passing three here and it will give oh, okay now i think i have to put this one okay this there will be ones matrix okay i did it spelling mistakes okay now this one so in this way you can have the spatial matrices and these are a few examples of that well uh, there is a uh, too much uh, build 
in matrices in sage math you can uh, you can you can have a look on that and uh, uh, by clicking on ev everything you can have that example and the all the description uh, of that right now i will i will give you the link of that sage man and this is a sage document i just found it on the internet and uh, from the sage sage math okay so now we can also do that a uh, few things well how we can access a matrix well what is a matrix let me check okay this is not a the capital a okay this is the a matrix okay now how we can access the element 4 well if you know uh, if you know about this then you can directly uh, say that uh, we can uh, we can have this one well one more thing that uh, normally we say that this is the one one uh, the coordinate of this element is one one but in sage it is start from zero so this is zero this column 0 column 1 column 2 okay and this one the uh, the row one this is 0 column column 1 sorry 0 row 1 row 2 row okay so in this way you have to access your elements you have to remember this is 0 1 2 and this is 0 1 2 row number i'm saying okay now how we can access 4 okay now, so in the third bracket, you just have to pass 1, 1 to access this because uh, this, the coordinate of this, according to me, is 1, 1. Okay, now I, I got 4. Fine. So if you want to find the 7, okay, so what we have to do again, A. So the coordinate of 7 is the 7 is a. Uh, mm, 3 1 not 2 1 okay so this is 2 comma 1 if i put then i will have 7 okay in this manner you can have that okay now suppose that if i do something like this uh let me print a again then you can see okay now if i give something like this what it will give yeah, the first two row from zero to uh, zero to first so it is uh, something like that it is start from zero and it will uh, re just reach up to two but not exactly two okay so zero and one uh, the the zero row and the first row it gave it just gave fine now if you uh, this is just the tricks of list and uh, if you want to do few more then you can uh, uh, go and check it out the list one okay i just uh, i just clear all the concepts about that list okay well we have some special operators in the matrix well how we can see that well uh for the example i just made a matrix over here and uh showed in a general matrix format okay now what you have to do you have to write your matrix and put a dot and just ta uh, press tab and you will have that number of special operators in matrix well uh, we will see few of them and uh, how to use and uh, how to check that uh, how it is going to be used okay now suppose that i'm taking the uh, adjoint okay now adjoint of matrix a how we will do that adjoint so this is a uh, adjoint okay now we don't know how to use that well what do you have to do you have to put a uh, what so how you have to check that how to use that well you have to give a question mark there and uh, then press swift and enter and you will get that how to use this one and so on okay now got simple there you can see that all the things okay now in the same manner now you have to put the function sign and then you will just write down shift and enter and you will get your 
a joint of matrix A. Well, we have few more. Okay, now A dot. Uh, okay, we have to use this one. A dot column. Okay, now this one. A half column. So if you want to find just the first column, so I have to write zero here, and we will get the first first column of that okay yes this is the first column 036 so 036 this is the first column okay now we have few more okay if you want to delete a, a row or a column then what do you have to do we have to write a dot delete press tab and you will have the two option the delete co column or delete rows okay now I want to uh, I want to delete a column okay so I will choose this one now in this one you have to pass the value of list okay suppose that if if I want to delete uh, this column this one this 147 okay now I want to delete okay now I will just press now this 147 is deleted from here okay now but uh, still we have okay wait for a moment Mm. now the original value is not changed right now uh, what more now we have a uh, that function that is uh, that will give a determinant of that okay so that is that and you have to use the function sign and the determinant is zero okay well determinant is zero okay now what more the diagonal what which are the diagonals of this one okay now you have to press a dot and uh, diagonal press tab and uh, you will have the diagonals so these are the diagonals 0 4 8 these are the diagonals of that matrix A okay now the GCD the grid common divisor okay so how we will how we will find that so just we have the special operator G, GCD okay now press enter and the GCD of the all the elements is 1 fine okay now the next one how we will find the inverse that is the most important one uh, the, how we will find the inverse well we have the operator a inverse a dot inverse okay if we if we use that use this one so okay I think uh, what happened okay wait for a moment uh, inverse right Okay, matrix must be non-singular. It's a singular matrix. Okay. Now let's define a, 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 another matrix that is uh, must be B equals to something uh, matrix. This one three by three matrix. Okay, we will have uh, our elements in that. So, okay, now is it? So that B, so let's check, is it the singular matrix or not? Okay, again, we have the singular matrix. Okay, wait for a moment. Uh, I think uh, we have to. Now, let's check. Okay, now. Now we will we can find the inverse of that. Okay, so the B. Now we have the inverse. Okay, the singular matrix had do not non singular matrix do not have the inverse, right? Okay. Now this one. So in this way we can find the inverse. Well, we have few more. Okay. Now if you want to find the uh, inverse of that, you can use this one too uh minus one sign to the power and you will get the same okay now this is the inverse uh in uh, this is the one of the way to find the inverse okay now how we will find the transpose okay well we have the transpose operator too 
Okay, so here we have transpose operator and uh, just press shift and enter and you will get the transpose of matrix B. So these are the some special uh, operators in matrix. So uh, well, well, we will, uh, you can uh, see all of them just by pressing uh, B dot and then press tab and you will have the list of special operators. Suppose that if you want to know about something, so just press on that and give a question mark and then press shift and enter you will uh, you will have the information of the of that operator all right so in this way you can use all of these okay now the next one now I here I just have uh, one more matrix okay it's redirecting okay here we have Okay, let's change this one. Make it C. See, because I have already used that one. This is the C matrix. So this one too, and this one too. Okay, now, now how? Uh, well, we I just uh, I just have a matrix. This is B matrix that is equal to this one, and a uh, W matrix. Okay, so this is three by one matrix, and this is the three by three matrix. Why I did just let's see. Well, consider a system equation that is uh, something uh, something like this. Okay, so this is the, this is your equation, and now you have to solve that. Uh, how we how we solve that? Well, we can represent this equation in this form. So this will be a matrix here, and uh, this will be a matrix here, right? So let us consider that this is a uh, B. This is B and this is W that we already uh, already done here that we define the matrix and we define the matrix W. Okay, now how to solve that one? Okay, now solution. Okay. Okay, now we have solution. How we can solve that? Well, this system, uh, this system is something like uh, this is B b into x equals to w so we will we will uh, we uh, we just have to use this b to the inverse of here okay uh, wait for a moment so the equation will be something like uh, uh, that x equals to uh, that uh, b inverse b inverse multiplied by w okay so this will be the equation and uh, here we have to solve uh, the find the value of x so we will have that uh, okay okay we just consider that all the functions uh, belongs to x okay now solution so we can just copy paste that one now I just told you how you have to use the inverse and uh, then okay okay I just use I will just rewrite that okay now inverse yes this is an inverse one okay now inverse and then just uh, multiply sign and then W well we have W okay now you just have to write down the solution Right? Now, you will have the x, y, z, uh, the solution of the values of x, y, z. Okay. So, in this way, we uh, this is the whole video uh, about the matrix and their function and the spatial matrix and all the operations. Thanks for watching that video.